Software engineering is our course where we go through the entire software development process, including right from the beginning the user requirements and user needs, and go all the way through system testing. We follow the Rational Unified process, which is used quite extensively by many U.S. companies. They will use some variation of the Rational Unified process, which starts with a vision document that includes the user's needs. So we'll review needs for a particular feature from a user or a particular project from a user. We'll then figure out what those need, what features will meet those needs. We'll take those features and then turn those into testable system requirements. Once we have a system requirements document, we're then prepared to do system-wide architecture analysis. We'll complete architecture analysis and then do the use case analysis. When we do use case analysis, we'll be creating UML sequence diagrams, uh, class diagrams, and some collaboration diagrams. With those diagrams, we're now prepared to do our design. We'll do an architecture design phase where we go through and look at the system and decide what kind of tools do we want to use, what kind of frameworks do we want to use, what kind of database access do we want to use. Normally, we'll use some version of JPA and some version of Java Enterprise Edition, but we, uh, we can use pretty much any version of tools at that point because we know the user's needs, we know the features, and we know how we can solve those features. We'll then go to use case design, put more detail into our use case. We'll then create class diagrams, and finally we'll do an object-oriented coding solution for the feature. We go through and do our developer test, and at that point we have created from a user needs approach all the way to completed software that we then will demo for the class. So what we've done is we've followed a methodology that is widely used throughout the industry in the United States and we've gone through the whole software development process and come up with some new feature, some new project that will be something you can have some fun with coding and also something that will look good on your resume.